morning, Saints. Thank you for watching today's NDP Live video announcements. Today, we are diving into athletics with a news update on our varsity football team as they near the end of possibly becoming state champions. Also, we have an announcement on an important esports tournament and a dodgeball contest happening right after these announcements. Plus, Christian service hours are almost due. Are you up to date on your hours? I know I'm not. And do good December. It's a time for all of our clubs to do something nice and give back to our community. We'll highlight NDP's Baking Club and tell you all about a current project they're baking up. Finally, our announcements wouldn't be complete without our Student of the Week. For now, let's roll that intro graphic. Hey Saints, I'm Bennett Curran. And I'm Gigi Montez. Let's get right to the hype we're all feeling, and that's our varsity football team. As most of you know by now, NDP is advancing to the 5A conference semifinals after defeating Sienega last Friday night. The score, 45 to six. Our team will head to North Canyon to play against Campo Verde tomorrow night at 7 p.m. If you can make it, make sure to go support your Saints. Another huge event happening soon that we can't wait for is the Smash Brothers Tournament. The eSports Club is hosting the competition Thursday, December 5th, right here on campus after school that day from 3 to 5. And for those of us who aren't necessarily athletically gifted but like to throw a ball around, this one is for you. Shortly after these announcements, all of us will head to the gym where we will have a dodgeball tournament. This tournament is hosted by our own House St. Michael, and get this, the winning team gets a free sweat stay for the whole house. You can earn house points by cheering, winning the uniform competition, and winning the tournament. And just so you know, you can't just go start chucking dodgeballs at your opponents. There are rules. For starters, everyone must start the game on the line. If you get hit, you are out. No headshots are allowed. If someone catches your ball, you're out. You can block other balls with another dodgeball. And finally, if you catch the other team's ball, you can bring a teammate back in the game. Good luck and may the best team win. We also want to mention that November is House St. Michael's month. For their house charity event, they participated in the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer Walk. In total, they raised over $1,500 for the American Cancer Society. Thank you to all of those in House St. Michael for making a difference with those affected by cancer. And since we're on the topic of service, your hours are almost due, Monday, December 2nd to be exact. If you haven't already logged all of your hours yet, make sure to do so on x 2 Vol. Ms. Dingus can help you with any questions you may have. NDP's Baking Club is taking on a massive project to help Madrid Neighborhood School here in Phoenix. Our baking students are donating 1,000 sugar cookie cutouts, frosting, and sprinkles, all in time for their winter festival. To know more about it, we sat down with NDP's Baking Club leaders. So today we're baking for Duga December. This is an event we do every year at the Baking Club and it's very important to our community. So for this year, we're baking for a school, which Rex will talk about. Um, the school is a, so it's my aunt's school. She is a special education teacher. And the school is a Title I school and majority of the families attending that school are from low income. 
So in the guidance counselor's office, we will be having a tree with um, a bunch of little tags that have different ingredients on them. Um, we would love if you guys would come in and take a tag or two and bring in donations. Um, this would really help support the baking club as a whole. And we have items such as like frosting or flour or cake mixes that will help us bake for the charities. The donations are due by December 9th because the event will be December 11th. That is awesome to know how something so small can make a huge impact on someone's spirit this holiday season. If you're part of a club that is interested in creating a project for Do Good December, please see Mrs. Beers by Monday to sign up. Now, on to our favorite segment, Students of the Week. And we want to devote this week's segment to NDP junior Vicki Tang. She was just accepted as a delegate in the ADHOC committee at Yale's Model United Nations Conference, which is happening at the end of January in Connecticut. So what exactly will she be doing? Well, Vicki took some time to talk to us about this extraordinary experience and what it means to her. Model UN is a simulation of the UN General Assembly and its other multi multilateral bodies where students perform an ambassador role. So delegates at Model UN, they normally they are really uh, passionate about politics uh, and law uh, and I will say international society. So I think I'm going to meet a lot of future politicians and amazing lawyers there. I have participated in a Harvard Model UN conference before, like two years ago in Shanghai. And I personally think that experience helped me, helped me a lot. So I applied for Yale Model UN when I was at Cornell this summer doing summer college and I was having international human rights course. We also had some conferences about gender equality, human rights. I really like doing debates in uh, something related to like law, politics. But wait, we also want to devote this week's segment to our AP environmental science class. Two weeks ago, they climbed a glacier in Iceland. What an experience. Now that's impressive. Congrats to you all. You're our students of the week. Well, that's all we got for you this week, Saints. If you have any questions or news you want on these announcements, you can email live at ndpsaints.org. And don't forget to follow NDP Live on Instagram and Twitter at NDP Live Club. Thanks for tuning in. We'll be back after Thanksgiving on December 5th with another episode. See you, See you in two, two weeks, weeks Saints. Saints.